I would like to integrate dx over x times the square root of 1 minus the natural log of x squared. So this might seem uh, very daunting, but uh, it sure isn't because uh, you would have to see a bit. Uh, um, you could have to, you you would have to see um, uh, some some things through. So I'll write this as the integral of. I'll separate out the terms here. I'll write this as. I will write this as. 1 minus ln of ln squared of x times 1 over x dx. And now I think uh, this is uh, a basic u substitution problem because we have the natural log of x and we have derivative which is 1 over x dx sitting right beside it. So we substitute u to be the natural log of x. We take the derivative of both sides we get 1 over x dx which is equal to du so this implies that this becomes the integral of 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared times 1 over x dx and that is du and now uh, this should be a standard integral for you but um, if you haven't just take a look at my video on uh, derivative of uh, inverse trigonometric uh, functions and you'll find that this uh, 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared is the derivative of the sine inverse of u or sine inverse, inverse of x if this were uh, the square root of 1 minus x squared. So this kind of is the def, uh, derivative of the sine inverse function. So if the derivative of sine inverse is this thing, then this thing's uh, integral should be the sine inverse, right? So if you, if you don't uh, understand too much, just take a look at my uh, video on uh, the differentiation of in, uh, inverse trigonometric functions. So this is uh, nothing but the sine inverse of u plus c. But u is the natural log of x, so we get that this is equal to the sine inverse of u, but u is natural log of x, and plus c. And you can check it for yourself that this is uh, indeed the right answer because if you uh, differentiate this expression using the chain rule, then you'll find that uh, sine inverse derivative is 1 over the square root of 1 minus uh, natural log of x squared. And then you go inside using the chain rule and you take the derivative of a nat natural log of x, which comes out to be 1 over x dx. So uh, not dx, just 1 over x. So you find that you get get back this expression. So um, I believe that this is the right answer. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, I'll do a few more videos on such miscellaneous problems. Um, so keep watching and I'll see you in the next video.